Welcome to What is Linguistics in Three Minutes? So broadly speaking, linguistics is the study of language, and it can be broken down into six levels of analysis. Phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, semantics, and pragmatics. At the most fundamental level, we can study individual speech sounds. This is referred to as phonetics. Phoneticians study how we produce and perceive sounds, as well as the physical characteristics of those sounds. Now, it isn't the case that all language include all possible speech sounds. Languages will have rules about what sounds belong and which ones don't. There are also rules concerning the possible combinations of sounds. The study of these language-specific systems is called phonology. An interesting example in English is that the suffix ed is pronounced differently depending on the sounds that come before it. So we have washed, waved, and weighted. See if you can figure out the pattern. Speaking of suffixes, morphology is the study of how words are constructed from smaller parts. The word breathlessness, for example, is made of three parts, breath, less, and ness. There are language-specific rules about how these parts can be connected together and how they affect the meaning of the word. Breath nessless, for instance, would violate English morphological rules. Similar to morphology, syntax is the study of how sentences are constructed from words. The rules that govern these processes are referred to as the grammar of a language. Now up to this point, each level of analysis has focused on patterns and rules that govern how language fits together. However, language wouldn't be useful at all if these patterns didn't have any meaning. This is studied in the field of semantics, which looks at the connection between language and what it represents, be it physical objects, emotions, thoughts, or concepts. The final level is pragmatics, which considers the context in which language takes place. For instance, what is the meaning of the question, do you have a watch? In one case, it could mean, what time is it? If you're shopping for a watch, it could also mean, you know, do you want to go to that store and buy a watch? And if you're walking into class and the teacher says, do you have a watch? It might mean that you're late. So those are the different levels at which language is studied. So what then is applied linguistics? Well, simply put, Applied Linguistics aims to use our knowledge of linguistics to answer real-world questions. Questions like, what's the best way to learn a second language? How can we help those suffering from language impairments? And how can we improve software like Grammarly, Google's Google Search, or Siri? Now, this is only scratching the surface in terms of the questions that we could ask, and there are many, many more. But that's all we have for today. That's Linguistics in 3 Minutes. Thanks for listening.